Okay. Yeah. That's my uh, intro. I love having intro songs. <laughs> I can only put three seconds, though. I think we well, will copyright me. I don't know how many seconds you could actually use, though, entirely. Oh, yeah, I was listen I'm listening to Stern this morning, and he's talking about, I don't know, that new kid-appropriate policy. Um, well, I never claim that anything I say is kid-appropriate, but I, I would like to make my content family-friendly, you know. Um, actually, on a more serious note, um, if that's actually possible, I've been told by me mum that I don't have a serious bone in my body. I mean, I didn't want to say anything at the time, but I was thinking, listen, mom, we're going to effing die. Okay? Serious? You're going to serious about what? The thing is, serious bad. Funzy good. Not, 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 you know, crappy scum, uh, 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 fun, uh, you know, like at, at other people's expense. You don't want to have that kind of fun. You want to have like lighthearted fun or if you want to do heavy hearted fun then you can only direct it at yourself but uh you know you um you're gonna die okay <laughs> so there's there's no time to bull crap around there's only time for fun my friends who my friends who strainy and if you don't then you deserve death because i mean <laughs> It's been well documented throughout the years that um, Funzy is good. And um, it actually, it helps to boost your immunity, you know, from deportation. No, um, from, uh, from actually immigration. It helps to, be, to boost your immunity from immigration in terms of, you know, disease and sickness immigrating illegally into your body and uh, it, yes it's well known that the mind is extremely powerful and that wow i can't believe is that two minutes i thought i was talking for longer but um yeah um yeah so you gotta you gotta try and maintain positive attitude i'm writing my book that's what i talk about in my book how to Right, basically. And uh, it's a matter of tricking the brain into behaving to your best interest. And uh, the secret is to make sure that you're good to yourself and that you're good to other people. You know, even, and, and if, you, if you're around people that, and there are a lot of them, that'll try and draw you into their negative, that they won't, they won't let you be good to them. Don't talk to them. Try and avoid them at all costs. Do not say a word to those people. Do not engage those people. I'm telling you, because they're coming for you. They're like demons, like the evil. And they're going to try and immigrate into your psyche and into your world and ruin you, basically. So you have to run like hell from that crap. You have to run, and you can't, you can't change them. I'm telling you right now, you cannot change these people. They, um, they just, they, they don't do that, you know. They don't do positive. I've experienced so many different people on so many levels. Some will admit it, and some won't. You know, that they, they're, they're evil and that they have a negative view on life. I've, I've encountered people that they're not necessarily evil, but... You know, or they're not necessarily bad people, but they have a negative view on life. You can't do anything with those people. You know, you'll 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 fight until you're dead, and it's really just a waste of life. So um, don't waste your life on the negative. You have to maintain the positive. You have to do. I I mean, I'm I'm. Yes, I'm. I'm just exploring this. I'm. I'm. I feel like I'm free. I don't. I'm, I don't have the urge to eat like a hog lately. And um, I would eat like a hog. Well, at least okay, the last day or two, I had to turn my fridge off. So I emptied the fridge, and I turned the damn thing off, 
and I'm only going to eat I'm not none of that storage crap anymore because I store too much junk food even though I have junk food that I'm utterly ashamed of I mean you really shouldn't stop eating although they say that um fasting one day a week I used to be able to do that I can't do it anymore though um, for a while there and uh, I, I, a lot of times you have to stay busy I find in order to uh, stay away from eating so you gotta read you got they say that exercise really helps you too because I think this is the third day crap I was hoping it was the fourth day yes yeah, so because um, I'm afraid to get on the scale because I've been eating I think I had what was that last week I had two two large milkshakes a chocolate large chocolate large vanilla and then I bought a pint of ice cream and uh, and I had I think uh, a six pack or eight eight pack of devil dogs and all other types of assorted candy yes I'm a fat hog and um, I gotta get under 190 pounds I gotta I gotta the problem though is that you can't lose it too fast but because you gotta try and lose maybe you could lose five pounds a month I think but I think I put it on faster than that but I think like not last year I think I took off 20 pounds by uh, I don't remember when the hell I took off 20 pounds by but I know last January I said I'm, there's no way in hell I'm staying in the house so I, I went out and I walked every damn day you know well okay not every damn day but I walk at least two or three times a week or maybe three or four some weeks in January part of February but um, so I'm trying to walk to work I love the smell of that gasoline <laughs> but I tried to walk to work and walk home I don't know I didn't do it in the summer though but I because I, I rode the damn bike I hate riding that damn bike I find it extremely dangerous because it's dangerous because you got to keep even you got to keep looking back all the time you know or, or people they'll try and sideswipe you as if you don't even exist so it's very dangerous walking it's so much easier the bad part is that you really can't carry as much because I could put like the uh, the panniers or the bags on my bike and carry a crap load of stuff crap load more than I can when I walk you know in my backpack although I can carry a pretty good amount in this damn backpack um, because you can see yeah I don't know if you can see it yeah it's my backpack but uh but yeah let me see where the hell am I pointing this thing I try and point this thing straight ahead so I think sometimes I point directly at the ground um but yeah I uh I find it just interesting just talking about this stuff so you know hopefully maybe somebody can get something out of this and if not you know f you <laughs> no, I'm just kidding um, well I mean you know it is what it is you know I, 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 I desperately love helping people and uh, cool looking Camaro there I love those cars I can't stop looking at them can't believe America's actually making that crap finally but uh, those cars are pigs, though. Those things weigh like 4,000 pounds. They're big. Especially, I love that Chrysler. I don't know why. I love that new Mustang and, uh, and the, the Camaro. They made it a little different, though. They made it a little flatter and sleeker looking. Made it a little more badass. But they say it's not selling well. So they make discontinue the damn thing or make it electric. But I think it's so cool that it comes with a four-cylinder. Think a 2.5 liter four cylinder turbocharged, a supercharged, or some crap like that, that makes like 345 horsepower. I can't believe that tiny four cylinder. Those retards finally um, made a car that's not that terrible. <laughs> as, as, as they, like, I remember um, journalists always saying how America can't make good uh, four cylinders the way the Japanese can which is it's just absolutely ridiculous 
but I think the reason was is because they had no competition. You know, the only thing they had to think about all the time was racism, you know, just making sure they don't hire black people, you know. Unfortunately, that's, that's where the life goes. But now that they're realizing that, um, yeah, see, we're not the, you know, we're not the problem. It's you. It's not us. It's not black people. It's you. You, the individual retard. So we're, we're American, probably even more American than the European Americans, because uh, we got no place to go. You can go back to Europe, even though they don't want you, because they think that you're low-class slobs, low-class, uh, what do you call that, corn dog eating NASCAR-loving <laughs> low-classers. But, yeah, I'm, I'm going off again. Um, on the negative. See, there I go again. There I go, Dan. I'm ah, just trying to impart a bit of um, wisdom to those who uh, care to listen. But um, yeah, I'm at 11 already. Okay, I'm done. Bye. <laughs>